We have already seen the definition of Nash equilibrium in an intuitive informal way, so now let's take a look at defining Nash equilibrium formally and mathematically, which is what we usually do in game theory. And then let's see how we can formulate Nash equilibrium as a fixed point using the concept of a best response function. So let's start with looking at some notation. We denote the players by the numbers 1 through n. So there are n players altogether, and each one has an action set a sub i. That's player i's action set. For example, in the prisoner's dilemma, that would be quiet or think. So a sub i for each player would have two actions in it. An action profile describes a choice of an action for each player. So a1 is a player 1's choice of an action, a2 is what player 2 does, and so on. Sometimes we need to refer to an action profile in which all players follow some action profile A, but some player I chooses differently. So the way we denote that is um, A sub not I means all players except I choose according to the action profile A, but A prime sub I is player I's action and is different from the action profile A. It's some other action A prime sub I. And then payoff functions describe uh, how each uh, player's um, payoffs uh, are determined by the choices of all other players and their own choices. So A is an action profile. Rem remember, it specifies an action for each player. And U sub 1 of A is the utility or payoff to player 1 of the action profile A and so on for all the other players. So a Nash equilibrium, then, is an action profile A star um, such that for every player i and every action a sub i of player i, a star is at least as good according to player i's preferences as the action profile a sub i, a star not i, in which every uh, in which player i chooses a sub i, while every other player j chooses a star sub j. Equivalently, we can say this very concisely mathematically by saying, for every player i the utility or payoff to player i of uh, action profile a star is greater than or equal to the utility or payoff to player i of another action profile in which everybody chooses according to a star except player i who chooses some other action and that's true for any other action a sub i that player i has available so um, another way to put this would be to say that uh, no player can uh, be better off by unilaterally deviating to some other action profile other than the one they are playing. There is another way to formulate Nash equilibrium as well using the notion of a best response function. So best response function for each player tells us which action choices of that player would maximize the player's payoff given what other players are doing. So A sub not I is what other players are doing the best response function for player i then tells us all the actions, all the action choices in player i's action set for which utility or payoff is maximal. So no other uh, action would give a higher payoff or utility for player i given what the other players are doing. So each player has a best response function and we can then define Nash equilibrium in the following way. The action profile A star is a Nash equilibrium of a strategic game with ordinal preferences if and only if every player's action is a best response to the other player's actions. In other words, for every player, A star sub I, the, the action choice of that player in the action profile A star, is a best response to A star sub not I, which is the action choices of all the other players. Now there's a way uh, actually to say this uh, mathematically and that's using the idea of a fixed point. So what is a fixed point? Well, we talk about fixed points of functions. A function of course is uh, very simply something that takes an input and transforms it into an output. Usually we describe the input uh, as x. The function is sometimes denoted by f and then f of x would be the output. So one example of that um, will uh, would be uh, f of x equals x squared and we'll take a look at that in a minute. So what's a fixed point then? A fixed point would be an input x such that the function gives back the same 
um, input as an output. In other words, an x star such that f of x star is x star itself. Okay, so going back to the example x squared, in that case uh, the input is x, the output is x squared. Um, what would be the fixed points of that function? Well, one way to find out would be to graph the function uh, and then look at the points where it intersects the um, x equals y line. Okay, so here's a graph of uh, the function x squared and here's the line x equals y. The points where they intersect are points where um, x squared, the function, gives back um, the input exactly the same way. So for 0, the output would be 0 squared, which is 0 again. That's a fixed point. And then for 1, the output would be 1 squared, which is 1 again. So that's a fixed point as well. Uh, so those are the two fixed points of that function. Nash equilibria can be seen as fixed points of the best response correspondence. So the input would be a strategy profile A. The function would be essentially the best response functions of all the players taken together. And then the output would be best responses. Of course there could be more than one output since there really could be several best responses for each player. So this technically is really a correspondence and not a function. Nevertheless, there's an input, um, an action profile, and the best response correspondence is transformed that into an output, which is all the best responses for all the players. Now we can say that a Nash equilibrium would be an action profile A star, such that A star is an element of the best response to that uh, action profile A star. So a uh, simple way to put that would be each player is best responding to what every other player is doing. This notion can actually be used to solve for Nash equilibria in a game. So we can actually look at the best response function of the two players in this game. We have a row player and a column player. The row player can choose top, middle or bottom. The column player can choose left, center or right. So let's take a look at the row player. If the column player were to choose left, what would be the best choice for the row player? Well, top would give 1, middle, middle would give 2, and bottom uh, would give 0, so middle is really the best choice. So that would be the best response to left. What about to center? If the column player chooses center, then the row player can do best by choosing top and getting 2. Um, and if the column player chooses right, the row player could choose top to get 1, middle to get 0, or bottom to get 1, which means both top and bottom would be best responses. Let's look at the column player now. For the column player, if the row player were to choose top, then left would give 2, center would give 1, and right would give 0, so left is really uh, the best response. If the row player chooses middle, the column player gets 1 for left or center and and gets 0 for right. So both left and center would be best responses. And if the row player chooses bottom, the column player would do best by choosing right and uh, getting 2. Now take a look at the best response functions as shown um, by the uh, way we circle the payoffs. Any cell that has both payoffs circled is uh, Nash equilibrium because it's a best response uh, for each player to the other player's action choice. So that means this middle left <coughs> is a Nash equilibrium of this game and bottom right is also a Nash equilibrium of this game.